I have received a request via the Shelty Hair Facebook page if I would create a video showing how I train the backup. The backup in this case meaning when the dog moves backwards away from the handler. I'll use this command um, multiple times throughout the day. If we're playing and I'm going to kick a ball or throw a toy and I want the dog to be far enough away not to get hit, then I'll use the backup command to get them to move away from me. I'll also use it around the house. As I'm moving through the house, tidying up, putting things away, I can get the dog to move out of my way, either out of the way of a cupboard door, or if they're standing in the middle of a doorway or in the hallway and I need to get by, then I can use the backup command to get them to move. I also use backup during therapy dog situations when I need to position the dog in arm's reach of a person with limited mobility. So if someone is confined to a bed or a wheelchair, they may only be able to reach so far. So I can tell the dog to back up and move them into position without physically having to touch the dog and place them in position. So it looks a lot nicer. Like a lot of the things that I train, I start out with it being fun and games. Um, if the dog is having fun in the beginning when they're learning the backup command, they're more likely to be willing to do it later on throughout the day when the fun is um, less exciting. So here are a couple of methods that I use to train backup. For it, you will need some treats and a clicker. You can also use um, a toy that the dog has a very high value for. So a tennis ball, a squeaky toy, a tug toy, something that's a very high value to the dog. I'm going to start with some treats, a dog, and a clicker. I'm going to ask the dog to stand. Come stand. Oh, stand up. Thank you. Wait. And I'm going to try and throw the treat so that it lands right behind his head. If your dog is good at catching things, then they will generally automatically adjust um, to catch the item. So the first one, just so we can catch it, good job. So he knows that I'm going to throw the treat at him. So stand up though. Back up. Wait. So I'm going to toss the treat back so he has to move back to get it. I'll probably miss the first couple times as I figure out that you're tossing the treat backwards. Wait. Wait. That was a bad toss on my part. So I'm going to try and throw it so that the treat's going to go right behind their head. Good job. Good job. You can see that now he's getting the idea that I'm throwing the treats back. So every time I throw a treat, afterwards he adjusts and steps backwards. Good job. Oops. Toss that one back at me. Throw me over here, please. I get it a Good job. Good. So I'm just giving a verbal reward for every time he backs up. Good. Good job. Back. You're done. Good job. Stay. Good one. Good job. Wait. Good yeah, money. You're, you're done, dude. Come over here. Lie down. Good job. Good job. So this is a little bit different use of the clicker in that I'm clicking once the dog has already caught the treat. Because the treat is in their mouth at that point, it serves as a reward for that click. Good job. So it's like the click, the treat, and the behavior all are all happening at the same time. You gotta stand up. That wasn't very good back. 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 Good. Good job.
When it comes to nope, the backup commands, back. Um, take one step at a time. No, I don't want you to say back. Good boy. Don't expect them to do three, four, five steps backwards at this point. Good job. So even a shift of the body weight back. I just yanked it. Oh, Geo's out then. Okay. Back. Good job, G. Back. Good boy, Romy. Back. Good job. Back. Good boy, G. Romy. Back. Good boy. G. Back. Good boy, roll me back. Back. Good man. G back. Good boy, roll me back. Good job. We can now transition to a tennis ball, for which Geo is absolutely crazy. Back. Yeah. Stop. So if you have a toy that is of super high value, this acts as the reward. So we've already shaped the back movement using treats and a clicker, which is a little bit more slow pace and calm than with the toy. But this is a higher reward. Come closer. Back. Yeah. So as soon as he backs up, I'm going to throw the ball to him. Come on, you can check. Back. Good job. You want to play two, Romeo? Back. Back. Good job. Good catch. Yeah. Gio, shush. Back. Back. Yes, yeah, there it is. Good boy. G, back. Good boy. Come <laughs> on, you. Give it here. Shh, quiet. Romeo, back. Good, back. Good job. Romeo, back. 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 I want another one. So now, once they get to the point where they are actively moving backwards for a ball, this is when you can start asking for more. I can only take one dog at a time or it's going to get crazy. Roll me over here, please. Roll me over here. Thank you. Right down. Stay there. Did you ready? Back. Back. Good job. So I can ask him to go back twice. <laughs> Give it here. Roll me down. You get your turn in a minute. Stay. Teacher. Back. Back. Good man. I may give it to me. <laughs> Shh, quiet. So my hand signal for back at this point is a fake toss mo movement. So I'm going to go back. Back. Good job. Good job. A demonstration of the command in action. If I get a dog, back up. Good job. Now I can open a cupboard. Come in closer. Well, come closer, please. So if I'm standing doing dishes and I want something out of a cupboard, and of course I have nosy dogs that are right in front of the cupboards, I can say back up. Thank you very much. I can open it without hanging in the face.